as you can see this here is a blank completely new WordPress installation with nothing on it and in this demonstration video instead of talking about what Hybrid Connect can do for you I simply want to show you what it does and I want to show you by showing you how quickly and easily we can go from this completely blank and untouched site to a site with all of the opt-in forms and all of the opt-in options and lead generation options you could possibly want. So first step I'm switching to the WordPress admin area and I've installed the plugin and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to my mailing list and I simply do that by clicking on connect and then pasting in the form code that I get from my autoresponder. In this case that's Aweber but this works with any autoresponder no matter what you use all you do is you get the HTML form code you copy that you paste it in here and you click on submit. All right, so now that's connected to my mailing list and I can start creating opt-in forms. First, I'll click on this short code design here. Now, what I want to do is I want to place an opt-in form inside my content or below my content, below my posts and pages. So first step is I select among all of these templates here and there are tons of pre-made templates for you here. I select one that I like. Let's pick this one here. Next, I can customize this form and I'll just drop in some text that I've pre-written here just to show you that you can customize everything here. So I'll add a different headline text. I'll add some different body text. I can turn this here into bullet points like this, very simple. And I can, of course, add formatting like making things bold and italicizing them and so on. Everything is possible in this editor. I can also add my own images and all that kind of thing. In fact, let's do that. This image on the side here, let's replace that with one of our own. Just gonna click on upload image and the uploading is just the same as when you drop an image into a post, for example. I'm going to use this image here, which is like a stand-in image, but you can use any image you want. Click on insert and there we've got a new image. I can change the size right here. I can change the position of this image and it's all done with these sliders. It's very simple to do and the great thing is it always updates live so I never have to guess what this looks like. I can see exactly what happens when I move this slider so it's really intuitive and really easy to use. All right, in the next step let's work on this box itself here. I can change the size of this. It's a bit too wide right now. This is probably better. Now you can see the text is all covered up here. It's because the height isn't correct anymore so I'll change that. Very simple. And you know what, maybe I want it to be a different color. Right now we have a gradient background. It could also be just a solid color background. Let's stick to a gradient, but let's say I don't want uh, blue. Let's say I want orange. So I'll have an orange gradient, let's say from darker orange like this to brighter orange. How about that? Now this button doesn't look good anymore. So let's go and change that button. And here I could either just choose a different color or I can choose one of the many buttons that are already in here. So I can just click on this and have this custom button shown or I can upload an image of my own. So again, I simply upload the image I wanna use, click on insert and there we go. I have my own custom graphic button in here. Now let's make sure that the email input fields are about the same size as the button and then we wanna move that down a little bit to make it fit the form. There we go, that's better. Now let's also change the font for the headline fonts, body fonts, and any other fonts used, we have a wide variety of fonts to choose from. I'm just gonna pick one, maybe change the size a little bit. And now these bullet points, the size isn't quite right, and the color doesn't really match very well, so I'm actually gonna change those bullet points as well. Let's try this and make them a little smaller. That's better. All right, before we spend too much time in the editor, let me save these changes. I'm sure you get the idea, right? There's nothing you can't edit or change here. Now, I told you I want to insert these in my post, so I'm just gonna tell HyperConnect to place this opt-in form that I just created at the bottom of each post and each page. So now, if I reload this page and scroll down, here we go, that's my opt-in form on the blog. And we're not done yet with that. Let's place an opt-in form in the sidebar. I'm sure you've seen this. Tons of blogs do this. Opt-in form in the sidebar so that anyone who comes to the site sees your free offer and can get on your mailing list. So let's do that. I'm going back to the editor and this time I'm going to change the widget design. Then once again, you can choose from all of these possible templates and you can see some of the templates are specifically made for sidebar opt-in forms 
because they're narrow and tall like this. Uh, some of them are also smaller depending on how prominent you want your opt-in form in the sidebar to be. And of course, again, you can change the text, you can change absolutely everything. I'm going to just change the size a little bit to make it fit that width and leave the rest just to save some time for this demonstration. So I'll save this change. Now we want this to appear in the sidebar, so I'll go to Appearance and Widgets. And in here we see the widget area of my sidebar and here we have Hybrid Connect. I simply grab this, drag and drop it into here and that's it. If I reload the page, I've now got a sidebar opt-in form and a post footer post page opt-in form and both of them connect to my Aweber mailing list. All right, next, one more thing. There are many more features in Hybrid Connect, of course, but as one more thing I want to demonstrate, I can also add a lightbox pop-up or a slide-in. And for that, I'm going to go to this editor here. And we've got the same story as always. I choose one of the many templates here. Let's go with this one. Once again, I can change the background image. I can change the foreground image. I can change the text and everything I want to change. And then I can tell this light box where to appear. So let's just have it appear on all posts and pages. And in these settings here, I'm going to activate the light box. I'm going to activate it so that it appears after, let's say, five seconds. I can preview what the light box will look like right here. Let's change the background color just so you see I can also do that. Let's make that dark red, make it a bit less opaque and take a look at what that looks like. There we go. It looks a bit dangerous with the red, but never mind. I'm going to save these changes. And now when I reload the page, we see the opt-in forms we saw before and I wait a few seconds and then we see the light box appear. There we go. So this is really attention grabbing. Nobody can ignore this and you usually get really high conversion rates from light boxes like this. So there you go. In just a few minutes, I've transformed this bland and blank WordPress blog into a list building machine. And of course, I was talking while I was doing this. So these designs are probably not award winning designs or anything like that. But I hope you get the point. It's very easy to make any form you want. It's very easy to make your opt-in forms match your brand and your style. You're not stuck with the templates that we offer. You can build completely cool and awesome looking opt-in forms completely from scratch. Or you can just use one of the awesome templates, change the text to match your offer and you're good to go.